key? Uh, I think everybody was locked in. Uh, I think our players, our team, as some players did a better job of locking in. Our coaching staff uh, was locked in. Um, I think there's, you know, there's always this notion of like players. You know, but what, the one thing we understand as a as a full unit is that everybody got to be locked in, and we all have our off head. Tonight we were all locked in. We knew we needed to come here and get a win. And we focused on the task at hand and we did that. You know, obviously we had some great individual performances with the marks playing great. Um, Clay was great, Steph was great. Um, our bench was fantastic. You know, everybody who came off the bench gave great minutes. Uh, you know, Andre was really good. So uh, it was a complete team effort. And you know, we did what we needed to do to get the win. When you say the coaching staff schematically or Yeah, I think you know, I think when you have when you have the run we've had, there's a tendency to relax. Um, and like I said, that's coaches, that's players, that's everybody, you know. And so um, we kind of needed to get out that state as a whole. And I think we did tonight, um, you know. But I always talk about there's that, human, there's that human nature side of it that gets all of us. It doesn't matter if you're on the floor, on the bench, uh, in the front office, whatever it is, there's that human nature side that comes into play. Um, you know, tonight we stepped up to the challenge. In your mind, is Clay up there with Steph as one of the two greatest shooters of all time? One hundred percent. When Demarcus looks like himself, looks healthy, what? does the dimension of him being the bully guys down low, scoring, facilitating, mean in particular against uh, these guys like the switch a lot? Uh, I mean, it means a lot. You know, I mean, if, you know, obviously watching. They weren't trying to switch much off DeMarcus. Late they went to switch him, but uh, early they were just trying to show a hedge and get back on him. Um, but it didn't matter who was on him. He took advantage of everybody who guarded him. So, uh, you know, obviously we know how great DeMarcus is and, you know, continuing to work his way back from that Achilles injury, uh, which, you know, was tough. Uh, but he had a night tonight, and, you know, we need him to keep growing and playing the way he played. Well, you've been consistent all along. He's going to play great. Going to take time, but for him to play the way he has last few games at such a high level, I think it does for him. Oh, it does a lot for him uh, because I think, you know, when you get those surgeries, uh, thank God I've never had them, but when you get those surgeries, I think the most important thing is confidence, you know, uh, not being afraid to take that step, not being afraid to sprint. And so when you, when, you know, when he have games like that, you know, that continues to build that confidence, um, knowing that, all right, it's there, it's good. And so I think uh, that's the biggest thing, is just continuing to build confidence and comfort and knowing that it's stable, you know, and, and it's healthy. So, uh, I mean, that's the biggest thing for him. And I would imagine for anybody coming back from injuries, you know, major injuries. There's a lot of confident chatter coming from their locker over the last few days. How much did you follow that? Somebody sent it to me. I mean, it is what it is. I guess they, they should be confident. Um, if they're not confident, who's going to be confident for them? So, they should be confident. Does it you guys up at all more? Hell no. For what? We don't need to be juiced up for, for, for them talking. We beat them. So, we don't need to get juiced if they say we're not on that level. That just that's dumb. It doesn't make sense. And I'm um, not sure stupidity juices anyone. It's just like, oh, that's dumb. So, no. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, DeMarcus talked about how, you know, it's been a, an adjustment for him to talk to, integrate with you All-Stars. But Steve said that it's been an adjustment for everybody. How do you think that adjustment has been thus far for you? I mean, I think it's been pretty good. Um, you know, it has its times where it's tough, just like anything in life. Uh, but it's been really good. Um, yeah, it's, been, it's definitely been an adjustment for him, and it's been an adjustment for us. We haven't had a guy who we can throw the ball on the block and, and allow him to work or give him the ball out top and, you know, a center that's working like he is, you know. So uh, it's definitely an adjustment. Um, but, you know, overall, I think it's been pretty good. Where, and it's adjustment on both sides of the ball. Where would you say he is, uh, you guys are, confidence-wise, with him after this game? How do you think he's, you know, the integration process? Ain't happens? nothing changed after this game. Uh, you know, we've been confident with him. Just because he had a great game, it ain't giving us more confidence in him. We know what he's capable of. He just compared playing with you guys to being on uh, As the World Turns every day, so popular. 
I think that's an app description. <laughs> I mean, I'll be 100% honest with you, I've never seen it before. <laughs> so I can't really, I don't really understand what the comparison or description means. The drama of a soap yeah, opera. I, I mean, oh yeah, well, you know, the NBA is a soap opera in itself. Um, it's probably the best soap opera in the world. So, you know, uh, if you want to put it in that, you know, in those terms, um, yeah. Sure it is, because you got the NBA, which is a soap opera, and then you got this team that, which is right in the middle of that entire soap opera, and then he get like thrusted into that team that's right in the middle of it. So it's interesting. Some more this year. Last question for you guys. Uh, I think it'll continue to be more and more just because media becomes more and more important. And not necessarily saying, like, um, like, it's no shot at you guys, but it, it becomes more and more important because social media is becoming more and more important. Um, there's more cameras than ever. You know, there's more voices than ever. So uh, I think it'll continue to be more and more each year because all of those aspects continue to grow. And there's no change in that. So, yeah. Great, thank you. Thank you.